So what? You just... You're just gonna shoot us in cold blood? Is that how you operate? Please, please. Who do you work for? Who do you work for? Please. Please, let us go. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. I swear to God. All of my instincts, all of my instincts about you were true. About you and this device. So what? You, you're still gonna kill us? You're gonna shoot us? We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Let us go. Let us go. Please. Just tell me this. Why? Why us? What's so dangerous about us? Because, Mr. Lawton, you exist. Are y'all right, baby? I was so worried about you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Thought I was gonna die. I'm just, I'm just winded from all that running. I'm okay. You're not dirty anymore, stud. But I'll keep you anyway. <laughs> Thanks. So where are we? We're somewhere in Point Richmond. We left the car and had to run because these jerks were tailing us. You mean tracking us? Tracking you? They know that we know, Eve. I don't know how they know, but they do. I know. This is what I was telling you about, Hannah. This is, you see how dangerous it is now? You're right. The question is, what is it that we know that makes us so dangerous that they want to catch us? What do we do? How about your brother? We can go to his house and... You mean your um, brother in Arizona? Um, yeah, except uh, how would we get there? Um, we would need more resources. We would need money and we'd need another car. Oh, uh, my uncle will loan us his. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, but that might not be safe right now because they might be tracking our family. So maybe we take a Greyhound. All right, I can go grungy, I guess. And you'd be the most beautiful unshowered passenger on that bus. Uh, 
What's fashionable in Arizona right now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, SPF 100? Are you mocking me? Let's go. More like absolutely revolting. Eve, I told you not to buy the prison. You promised me that you weren't going to. I know. I wasn't going to, but I, I walked by the store and at first I resisted, but then I felt like I was compelled to at least take a look. Insidious advertising. Look, Eve, you gotta go back there. You gotta tell them that you made a mistake, that you that you wanna take it back. I don't know if I could. Why not? There's a 30-day period where the, you're not supposed to remove your prison. They say it could be dangerous and you can nullify the warranty. You gotta be effing kidding me, man. This is how they do it. This is how it's done. They, this is how the government... Ah, what is it? Despite all the time off that I've been taking, and I think I took about a week off this week, uh, I'm still able to take a bolt-action rifle and put 12 rounds in a row through the same hole. Now, I'm a good marksman, but it, I think it's in my blood. My father and his father were also very good marksmen. I, no, no, don't, don't approach it like that. You may not, even if you don't have the natural talent, so what? I mean, the, I think the older you get, the more that natural talent means less and less. It's, it's the amount of time you put into it, you know? The amount of time you invest in any skill, uh, whether it's, you know, taking a guy's face off with your pinkies or just whatever it happens to be, then you're going to get better at it. You're going to get good at it. You're going to rival the people who do have that amazing natural talent, you know, whatever. There's no point in getting all depressed about it if you can't, if you can't always hit the target. You just keep on showing up to the range. I felt a twinge. I felt some heat. But it's it's gone now. It's gone. It's gone. We gotta get you to a doctor. We gotta get you to a hospital and get those things removed. Yeah, you're right. Let me call my doctor. See if he can take you. That podcast was right. I don't care if they call me some conspiracy nut or something like that. I know what I know. You are not a nut, honey. You just have trust issues. And you would too if you'd heard half the things that I'd heard. Android security forces, covert ops, Honey. people trying to make the U.S. into a police state. I even heard that they're Honey. trying to, to take away the freedom of speech and freedom of assembly. Honey. Eve, Eve, I am not some tinfoil hat-wearing radical like some of my friends. But I do agree with them on one point. I fear my government. Oh, honey, just calm down and get off the ledge. 
Here, call the doctor. You're the only one I know that remembers all this phone verse. Because I'm not going to surrender what's left of my mind to a computer. Hi, this is Zach Lawton. I'm a patient of Dr. Goodson. Yeah, I'll hold. I'm observing the suspects. I believe they're about to leave the location. Station C copy. We'll be there in five minutes. Ow! Alright, that's it. That's it. Come on, honey. We're gonna go to the hospital right now. We gotta go. Let's go. This is Agent 12. Agent 12, control. What's your current location? I'm in the southwestern quadrant of area G7. We have a possible situation developing. We have two potential conspirators. I want you to check it out. Location of the conspirators. Sector 7G, I'll be there in four minutes. Hello, Eve. What would you like to do today? Check email, send a text, listen to music, watch the video.
video from the media. More like a giant mind warp if you ask me. So hey, have you heard about this new thing on the news? It's like this new device called the Prism. It's like no. a computer chip in your head. No, I haven't heard it about it. You can see video or your email messages, you can download media, all sorts of stuff. And you can you can see it on these contact lenses that you put in your eyes and they're linked to this computer chip in your head. Now how do they how do they put that in your head? I don't know, they inject it, they implant it, I, I, I don't know. But what they do is they download stuff, like by Wi-Fi or something, like they would to an iPhone. And they got together with the government, and they're going to announce it in the next couple of days and release it to everybody. It's, it's like they're going to lure you in with these free access or, or new access, right, to, to anything that you want. Except then the government knows exactly what it is that you're listening to. No, I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it. I'm serious. Listen to me. you got to believe this. I mean, first of all, they know what you're watching. And then pretty soon, they're going to dictate to you what you can watch. They're taking away our freedom of choice. That's what this is all about. Come on, Zach. It's true. When they take away our freedom of choice, they take away our minds. I do agree. I know that the government is always trying to find ways to invade our privacy, but, you know, we need to check this out. We need to find out what this is all about. I'm gonna find out what it is. No, um, no, no. You are not going to get into this. You are not going to try it. No, I'm not, I'm sorry. I didn't mean try it. I'm gonna find out more about it. I wouldn't go out and shoot Botox in my head just because some celebrity does it. But I want to find out what this is all about. I want to be more informed so that I can inform my family and my friends as well. I'm not going to have this thing embedded in my skull. All right, all right, all right. Fine, maybe I'm overreacting. But I care about my privacy. This type of thing just drives me crazy. I know, but you can't take this so personally. Oh, I have to take... I just finished grading some papers and uh, I'm about to leave campus. Wondered if you wanted to get some coffee. I'm actually downtown right now. If you want to meet me. Oh, hey, listen, I wanted to ask you, did you ever get those tickets to the Sweetwater for the concert? Sure did. What my baby wants for her birthday? My baby can. He's going to the dollar. Woof. Good job. All right, well, why don't you come meet me? I'm at Starbucks. Hey, happy hump day, Dr. Lawton. What? You know, hump day. That's what they call Wednesday. Haven't you heard of that? <laughs> uh, what, uh, humping? No, hump day, the expression. Jason, I've known about hump day since before you were... <laughs> Never mind. All right. Hey, I'm running late for class. I was wondering if you have the time. You know, you ought to get yourself a watch. It's more dependable. Wait, where's your watch? I forgot mine. <laughs> Real dependable, Dr. Z. Well, what about uh, one of those smartphones that you guys always pull out in my class? I forgot that, too. Uh, I gotta lay off the weed. <laughs> Maybe so. Well, I don't have uh, any of those smartphones or anything like that. But it was a little bit after three when I left my office. Cool. All right. Have a great hump day, Dr. Z.
When I tell the truth, it is not for the sake of convincing those who do not know it, but for the sake of defending those that do. So is that a good place to start? <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs>